We are joined by Fatima Fernandez Cano after a historic performance in the third round of the Carlisle, Arizona Women's Golf Classic in an 11 under 61 by Fatih. A historic day. It matches the all time Epson Tour 18 hole scoring record, which was set by Michaela Finn at the 2021 Epson Tour Championship last year. Fatih, you had it rolling right out of the gate. Let's start on the front nine three straight birdies before dropping a shot on number four and then a birdie on number five and eagle on number nine. Take us through that front nine. I know you said there were some uh, peculiar situations you found yourself yourself in, but uh, you dug yourself out to shoot five under at the turn. Yeah, I mean, I got off to a really good start. I had wedges in number one, number two, and uh, just a shorter iron on number three, so I was able to leave it like, super close. I think it was like six footers was the longest spot in, two, in all of those. Um, Sorry. Got ourselves a little bunny right the, yeah <laughs> then number four it's a it's a t it's a tough part of four i've had some just couldn't quite get a line off the tee that i felt comfortable with had a 200 yard shot into the green so tough green to get to hit into a bunker just was able to walk out with a bogey which not it's not a bad result given the fact that i was in a bunker short side over there i guess um then yeah got it right back with a with a birdie right after and then uh, I got a little unlucky number six and number eight. I had wedges in, but my ball came to rest in a pretty big divot. So I was able to walk out with a par, which is pretty good saves right there. But then, yeah, like you said, eagle number nine had, a, I think, a 12, 15 footer for eagle, made it. Um, so I kind of get, got things rolling and I was able to start the back nine with another birdie. So that kind of kept things, uh, kept things going, yeah. And you made the turn, obviously, like I said, five under. And as you said, a birdie on 10, and then you followed that up with a Pull out eagle on 13, and then back-to-back -back birdies on 14 and 15. We'll just kind of look at that stretch. Uh, take us through that eagle on number 13, and then uh, numbers 14 and 15 to get to 10 under on the day. 59 watch was in full effect at that point. Yeah, I was coming off, so like like you said, like birdie number 10, that was a really good birdie. 11 is a short part three, but I didn't quite get the birdie there. But 12, I had like six footer for birdie. It just kind of like broke a little too much on me, but I was hitting good putts. So I was I was fine. I was not, um, I was okay with it in a way. And then number 13, of course, I, I had a kind of like a bad lie over there in the fairway. Uh, but luckily we got a really good club at it and, and you know, had a really good shot. and. Got a little lucky, of course, but made it uh, from 145 yards, I think he was, made it for eagle. Uh, got a birdie with a wedge in my hands the next hole, and then number 15, I reached it on two, and I actually had a eagle putt, like a 12-foot eagle putt. That's when I knew, I'm like, all right, well, this is this is getting really close to a very low 60s, um, and I knew that if I had made that, that eagle, I was, that, would, that would be in even more full effect, but I was happy with the birdie, of course. And then take us through 16 and 17, just the mindset um, with what you were able to accomplish there at walking to 18 t Were you were you a little little bummed uh, with having to make I think an albatross to reach um, to, to to reach 59, and then an eagle to make 60, or were you? Pretty happy with the day, I was so. I was happy at the fact that I kept aggressive, so I never really held back, which was really good. Like I said, 15 is to have that eagle putt. I hit a really good putt. It just broke a little bit too much on me at the very end. It basically hit the hole. So I was I was happy with that putt. It's not one of those that I'm leaving short because I'm scared. You know, it's that that was really good. Then 16 is a really tough part three with that left hole location. It's impossible to hold it on the green. Basically, if you're going right at it, I had a maybe a 25 footer for birdie. It hit a really good putt, so I was I was okay with it. And then the next hole, 17, I had a wedge in my hand, just left it a little bit too short, had a, had a chance at it. So in a way, I wish, of course, I could have made at least one of those and gave myself a chance here with a short part five coming in. Uh, but I was very happy with this. My main focus on 18th, in 18th uh, tee was just get it in play, get it like a really good, hit a really good driver. I had, I think, like 215 yards into the green, so I had a really good drive there. Um, so just at that point, I knew 59 was was quite hard to achieve, but just trying to get as low as I could. I mean, especially into tomorrow. I still we still have one more day, so. Yeah. How do you? I was going to ask. Now you have to follow it up. Where does this rank in terms of rounds for you? It's my lowest round ever. Um, I mean, I think even in practice, to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever been. I've ever gone this low. Just. I had it out there, um, just a really good day and just kind of going to tomorrow now and with a good mindset. I mean, of course, really good feeling with the course and hoping that I can play just as good tomorrow. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you.